So many people giving praises to Overshawn. Fans. And they got this year was like another free draft choice. Overshawn had 11 tackles in the game. He didn't even play last year because he tore his ACL. So he came back in his second year without playing a snap last year. You know, led the league in tackle or led the team in tackles against the Browns. So, uh, you know, really a great job by Dallas of finding those those players to come in and supplement some of their high price players so they can have a solid team all the way around. No, no doubt. So here's my thoughts with Bill Belichick on Overshawn. We can tell you guys, man, that this guy flies around to the ball. He's everywhere. And this is all in largelyhood of Zim. We're going to call Zim the simplifications. <laughs> the simplifications of this particular defense is because of Zim. And simplifications fits right on in with this, too. You know, that veteran leadership, he's picking up Damone. He's over-communicating. Just all those veteran things that you see, and I think it's great that he's here because now he's putting in that in Damone. He's putting that into uh, Overshone and all these other young guys around, and he's just been very crucial into this defense of understanding the system and progressing them so much faster than what they would have progressed. You know, they make a lot of changes and checks in the system, and EK's always already been in the system. So, I mean, he's been very great, man. We're grateful to have him here. Um, you right, know, I'm happy right. he wanted to be here, you know. Like I said, I always looked up to EK, man. He and he's a ter terrific locker room yeah. buddy too. So you know, he's he's a special cat, man. Um, you know, I hope we get another year out of him. You know, I hope he's <laughs> here for a while. If not, I understand about the business side, but man, EK, he's been pretty terrific for all of us. And I think he's going to continue to make plays. And I also say, bro, you ain't played in front of a front like us before either. So. You know. No doubt, no doubt. So when you add in all of this, man, with this particular team on defense, hey. Zim, the double A gap mug, the ability to see everybody on every level utilized and used in certain ways to attack to the ball. And on top of that, the the added extra piece of what Bill Belichick said with my guy number 13, who should be agent zero, but that's a whole nother conversation. Still put zero in the chat if you want him to be agent zero. Now, here's my thoughts on Zim. He's never satisfied. He's never satisfied. So let's listen to these two key points right here. Yeah. Where you avoid chips most based on what a team does and just how do you approach that? I just think he just, I think this is our first time going against each other and uh, with each other at least. And he kind of got ideas. So, you know, as soon as I come in this morning, you know, I'm sitting with him. He's like, I got this new package in for you. You know, this is help you, you know, clear away some of the chips and get you away from some of them things like that. So it just goes to show you, I mean, you know, he do not just talk about it. He, you know, he doesn't. Uh, he plans on using it, so. Can we get it ready for you today when you got here? Hey, y'all heard it. He just don't talk about it. He'd be ready for it. Now, that's not a shade at Dan Quinn. That's a whole goddamn bus that's heading Dan Quinn. Wait, because he put the bus. No, 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 no. That's Michael Parson pushing Dan Quinn in front of the bus. And I like this because these are the things that we all been talking about. Hey. Cowboys, we got to make the necessary adjustments. You got to know how to use and utilize your star key players. And we didn't do that in the last few years. Yeah, he was. they were showing me everything I'm supposed to do. Um, we're going to put it in tomorrow, obviously. Um, but, you know, he already had everything prepared. I was like, we're going to find a way to get you one-on-ones. Find a way to get you one-on-ones. That's what creative coaching is all about. And being able to have Zim in this team to call upon the defense is everything. It's the mastermind. It's the Zim's mind. Let's listen to this right here. The offensive lineman after the game said Micah was lined up everywhere. Uh, listen. Left, the left, over the left guard, I think. And uh, just is that the usage that you were hoping for? We saw it all throughout camp, but is that the way that you wanted to use him? Yeah, you know, there was a lot of times I wanted to use some other ways, but um, we didn't get to it. So we'll save him for the next couple weeks. But um, uh, yeah, I mean, he's a dynamic guy, and we want to try and get him a lot of different places and, and do a lot of different things with him. You know, they have to f figure out where he was. We got a lot more of the double chip protection in this ball game than we anticipated. And we knew they did it, but, uh, you know, we need to, we need, as coaches, we need to do a better job of helping him out with, um, you know, some, some other, uh, of our alignments so that he's not getting chipped every single play. That's Zim not being satisfied with his production. That's also Zim letting people know that, yeah, Parsons will be lined up everywhere. Not just Parsons. You got Overshone, you got EK, 
which is Eric Kendricks, and you got all of these boys that can do things. And Mears Leofile, he's even talking good stuff uh, to the Browns. There's a clip out there, uh, him talking noise. So I, I love when to see our young guys just having this approach, not this soft stuff, man. you know. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I love being able for my exam. He may not say this, sounds of the sideline may not pick him up doing all of this talking stuff, but I guarantee you these words still weighs very good in with the Cowboys. Get your ass up there, contain the damn ball. Yeah. This is why we do it. Hey, too many missed tackles. Yeah. Let's go. We're too damn soft. I just hate mistakes. I oh, yeah. hate mistakes. Yeah, he hate those mistakes. And, and I just want to say this too. Uh, kudos and credence to my guy, Marshawn Nealon, who pretty much, ladies and gentlemen, uh, week one, Marshawn Nealon, quarterback pressure since week one, the most in the single game from Cowboys rookie since Michael Parsons in 2021. People will argue and say, well, you know, Law, that's because they had two guys that wasn't starters on the edge. I don't give a dog. I don't give a dog because that's not our problem. That's their problem. And those numbers still going to account for him. Just like when Chaz Green was out there. <laughs> Did you hear people give us grace and mercy? And say, hey, it's Chaz Green. And when we had Ty Nisucky, did people give us grace and mercy? No. And when we had Cam, oh, Cam Fleming out there, people didn't give us grace and mercy. No. And just last year, when we had said with me, ladies and gentlemen, Chuma, E. Doga, did they say, yeah, uh, going up against Miami, the reason why Bradley Chubb was able to force pressure and cause that ball to be overthrown because they had Chuma E. Doga out there. No, that's only qualifying for the Cowboys to talk about our backups in a way whereas they still supposed to generate results. No, 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 no. So the equalizer of the situation is that my guy, Marshawn Nealon, he got those six pressures, right? And he was able to wreak havoc over there on that edge. On top of that, ladies and gentlemen, when we think about it and we talk about these things right here, let me pull up this right quick because I, I, you know how they do this. They, they do this all the time with us. I want to say this again with my guy, Overshawn. I want to give you guys this thought track. Mike Zim, Overshawn would be used as the QB spy in week one. And also, this will be a situation whereas he's going to be used as a spy for these sets of quarterbacks. Lamar Jackson, Jaden Daniels, Justin Fields, who if he's going to be playing maybe, as well as Jalen. Say it with me, Hurts. He could be a key to finally stopping these mobile quarterbacks. And that is my guy, Overshawn. So you see his closing speed. You see his hook to sideline speed. Every blade of grass he can cover. So that's why it's so important to have Overshawn on this particular defense. On top of that, if it's not him, it's Mears Leofile, who's just as quick and mobile and he can shoot to sideline to sideline. Or if not that, then we can throw in Parsons. It's multiple, multiple answers to this test. And that's what I like the best. Cowboy Nation, post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Let's go. Let's get it.